Good afternoon. Welcome to the uh, June 5th, 2018 Glendale Housing Authority meeting being called to order at 3.04 p.m. May I please have the roll call? Authority member Devine? Here. Garpetian? Here. Najarian? Here. Farazian? Here. Sinayan? Here. Chiragajanian? Present. May I please have your report? The agenda for the June 5th, 2018 regular meeting of the Glendale Housing Authority was posted on Friday, June 1st, 2018 on the bulletin board outside City Hall. What is next, please? Or would be approval of minutes for eight minutes of the regular Housing Authority meeting, meeting of May 22nd, 2018. Is there a motion to approve the minutes? I'll move for a Hearing no objection, the minutes stand approved as uh, submitted. What is next, please? Five would be oral communications. There are no cards submitted at this time. Oral communication is closed. What's next, please? Six would be business agenda 6A, Director of Community Development regarding statement of interest for affordable housing development. 6A1, motion authorizing the issuance of statement of interest for the development of affordable housing. Um, Chair uh, Arajanian, members of the Housing Authority, if I can ask Peter Zovac to please come on up and give us a, a short report um, on the statement of, of interest. Good afternoon, Mr. Chair, members of the Authority. Uh, staff is seeking authorization to issue what's called calling a statement of interest for affordable housing. It's really a marketing tool that we would like to get out to the development community to let them know that the Housing Authority is interested in developing uh, future affordable housing projects. As you know, with the recent start of construction on the Habitat Lomita and the uh, Vista Grande uh, Pithy Sonora Affordable Senior Living Project, uh, the Housing Authority has disposed of all of its property that it's been holding for affordable housing development. So the challenge now is identifying to staff, is identifying the next uh, project or projects uh, to initiate. And we thought that, and we've used this tool with some success in the past, we thought that with uh, the intent of notifying the development community of our desire to consider proposals, uh, it would help uh, double efforts of identifying those next two projects. So what we do is we will, um, with your approval, we will be issuing the statement of interest to both for-profit, non-profit housing developers that we have dealt with in the past that have responded to previous uh, requests for proposals that the city has issued in the past, and just other groups that have been put on our radar and in our database uh, for future opportunities. So we'll mail it out to them. We'll also push it out on the city's social media uh, platform as well. We'll also be sending out the statement of interest to a couple of membership organizations, such as the Southern California Association of Nonprofit Housers as well as the National Association of Housing and Redevelopment Officials. So those are uh, two groups that uh, affordable housing developers um, are members of, and we think that they will be able to see this notice. We'll let them know. Within the notice, we let them know that we have a significant pot of money this year, an additional pot of money we expect in revenue to expect next year, that the authority and the community is um, very receptive of affordable housing projects, and we seek their proposals. Yes. Mr. Chair? Yes. I think it's a good idea to send a letter to Glendale Association of Realtors as well, uh, just to let them know that they deal a lot of different developers so they can, they may be able to be helped. <laughs> Thank you. Can you tell us a little bit about uh, what the successes that we've had in the past from this sort of marketing? Well, we've had a couple of land sites identified by developers uh, that we were able to pursue. We've met a couple of developers through the process where their proposals didn't work <coughs> in that case that they responded to, but in subsequent uh, projects and, and or RFPs, they had responded uh, to and, and uh, had some success. And then it also exposes us to different concepts that uh, although if a proposal does not work, there's a certain concept that's been brought to our attention that we might be able to apply somewhere else. Okay, good. Hope it works. Any more comments? Okay. Uh, now I have 
motion to adjourn. I Before guess. you adjourn, um, if, if I may, Mr. Yes. Chair. So today is election day. I know that um, there are no candidates, Glendale candidates that are up for election, but, but we do have Measure P that's up for vote. And uh, of course, then we have statewide, countywide um, candidates and measures that are up for vote. And I encourage everyone to take 10 minutes out of your busy lives, uh, go out and vote. Thank you. Um, Mr. Um, Housing Authority Chair Agajani and members of the Housing Authority, if you can mm -hmm. please take uh, the action before you um, on this item, which is a motion to authorize the issuance of statement of interest for so the moved. development. Second. Second. May I have the roll call? Sorry, Member Devine? Yes. Carpetian? Yes. Najarian? Yes. Parasian? Yes. Sinanian? Yes. Chiragajanian? Yes. Um, may I have the motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. Second. We, are, we are adjourned at.